I'm so excited because right now I'm in the heart of Newark, in front of my restaurant, Marcus BMP. And why am I excited? Because we're about to meet the future of food. Three young, incredible chefs that went through the CCAP program, and they are the next big thing. Let's go meet them. What's your name? My name is Brian. Brian. Jared. Misha. Welcome, guys. I see all of you guys are representing CCAP, career through culinary art. How did you get to know CCAP? Well, I got to know CCAP through my teacher, Chef Broski, at my school, Harris Truman. He actually put me on to the CCAP for the summer job training program. Yes! And I was so thankful because, you know, I wouldn't get this experience that I have right now. What about you? It's the same way through Chef Broski to go mm -hmm. to CCAP and start the job training. And what about you? Same as both of them. Right. Chef, Chef Brilski put me on to CCAP summer job training and it's been a blast and the restaurant that I'm working at now, Nobu, is just wonderful. Oh, you just throwing out fancy names like that, like Nobu? <laughs> like nothing? Wow. It is a good place. I, I have to say it's wonderful. It's one of the top in the country. Thank you very much. What is it about food that you love? It's that you can, it's, no, it's never just, oh yeah, it's cut and dry, it's the same every time. No, it's somebody's personality, it's with their background, their culture, just mm. all of it, just in what you put in, what you made, and to just share with the world that, hey, this is something for me and what I came from, and then other people understand that too. You can show it through your food. What have you learned this summer by just working at Nobu? What I learned is that it's very fast-paced. You have to be fast, yes. but you have to be efficient. You have to just be ready. Yes. And bring a notepad, you know, so you can write down. Yeah. Ask questions and always finish with yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, there you go. Chef. What are we doing this summer? What's going on? I'm doing an um, internship at Field Trip. I'm doing prepping. Yes. Yeah, it's with JJ. Yeah. Awesome. And it's just it's a fun experience. Like it's something that I want to do and I want to start somewhere. It's just I'm falling in love with the journey. So then yes. when I make it to a destination, I can say I did this. I you know I started from somewhere, which is something I had fun with. What about you? What's the summer? What, what do we got? So, so far I've started working at Make My Cake. Yes! Slash, um, it's called, um, it's also a coffee shop called I Like It Black. Yes! And I've only- On 125th been, Street in Harlem. 125th, yes. Yes, exactly, exactly. she's amazing. I love her so much. Yeah, and Aaliyah, her and her mother started Make My Cake in their apartment as a catering company, family business, and it's an excellent place to learn. So what question do you have for me? If you have one question each, what do we got? You start. What made you think that, hey, I can build an empire off of this culinary dream that I have? And I always believed in my capabilities, not knowing how far we go, but I knew I could add value. So I never thought about the end destination, like I have to, this is where what I have to do. But I know like work hard and keep being curious. Where was your first restaurant? Like where did you open it up at? Well, I mean, I, I got a chance to work in restaurants really young, around now, so like your age, and then I got a chance to travel. You have to travel. You don't have to travel outside the country, but you have to go somewhere else and be really uncomfortable. Traveling has always helped me. I traveled to Japan really young. I traveled to Switzerland. I worked in France. So I had the opportunities to test myself, but I learned so much. You said you went to France, Switzerland, Switzerland yeah. and Japan. The cuisine that goes there, how did you incorporate it into your own recipes? Yeah. It was really about absorbing the techniques, learning the craft, and when the time comes to, oh, to be a chef, I've already worked on a bunch of dishes from experience, from how to treat fish in Japan, how to work with pastries in France, or how to butcher meat in Switzerland, for example. So no matter where you are, you will always pick up something. Um, how was it, you know, being a black guy, going in and being awarded one of the top chefs in your field, and having a lot of people that are not looking a lot like you? Wow. It wasn't easy. It was a journey. Uh, there will always be people that are not just going to accept you because the way you look. And um, to accept that, it was hard. But I always want to make sure that that person in the room that really was coming for me because of that, that he or she shouldn't win. So it was a lot of navigating and always holding on to, I am a chef, I'm gonna be a chef. So I was speaking to myself like a mantra every morning. Coming to New York and coming to America was such a relief because I started to see other people looking like me, black professionals. There will always be people that will support you and there will always be people that's gonna be jealous of your journey, of your experience. But 
Craftsmanship, love, luck, good people, being good to people will always win. No matter what it is, if someone starts arguing with me, you gotta say to yourself, I can't afford to be doing this. I can't argue with this person. I can't get into it because I'm going places. He or she might not, so just walk away. You might take in the L of that conversation, but you're taking the W in the larger picture. That's the key. Hold on to your dream, no matter what. No one should take your dream away. That's the most important thing. And dream big. That's good, I get so energized talking to you guys. <laughs> well, I wanna thank you three gentlemen for taking time out, coming to Marcus BMP in Newark. And I know the future of food is bright because I met the three of you. I know that you guys are gonna go out there in the world and crush it. If we can help and be part of mentoring you guys, we're here for it. I wanna give a big shout out also to CCAP for supporting the youth and guiding them through and navigating through all the ups and downs. And this is what Eat Up NYC is all about. All right, read the book. I want notes in a month. We need to think about the book. Hello, I'm Sandra Bookman, and I am honored to share this community spotlight with you. The Careers Through Culinary Arts Program, or CCAP, has established itself as a nonprofit organization dedicated to the education and development of underserved teens working towards careers in culinary arts, while providing culinary and wellness curriculum, internships, job opportunities, and mentorship. Over the past 32 years, CCAP has worked with more than 350,000 students and awarded $66 million in scholarships to youth from historically marginalized and vulnerable communities to continue their education in the culinary and hospitality industries, allowing graduates to close the inequity gap and dramatically change their lives for the better. We salute and thank you, CCAP, for the meaningful changes you've made to the lives of countless underserved youth in our communities.